Hey everybody, um, I'm I'm Joey Graham, also known as the Amateur All Star on YouTube. Um, and this video is kind of an introduction of who I am, what I'm gonna do uh, with my dub sessions, and uh, basically what I have available for me. Uh, let me start off uh, by saying thank you for following my page. Um, it is uh, a great honor to have to start building some kind of fan base. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, what I'm doing. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because, uh, one, I'm, I'm just trying to get my foot in the door. Um, uh, as a lot of people know, I, I'm, I love acting. Uh, I've been an actor uh, pretty much all my life. And so um, because I, I don't have a whole lot of time to be able to get back on, on stage because of work and commitments and whatnot, um, I, I kind of limiting myself to, you know, what's available, and in this case it's voice acting. Um, let me, um, let me start off about how I, how I got this idea, just to kind of, you know, tell this story to tell another story. Um, it was actually at, um, what is now called Kuroneko Khan in Spokane. Uh, they were, it was originally called Otaku Khan, uh, back when it first started in 2009. That was the first anime convention I went to, as it, you know, just as an observer, as you know, as a total tourist. Um, I went in, and I did some impressions for some of the fans, and and one of my more popular impressions was um, was Inuyasha. And uh, over the course of the next year or so, I've actually had people suggesting that, you know, I take up voice acting. And I, I kind of thought about it. I, I didn't think the the idea was very realistic at the time, um, but uh, decided to go on ahead and, and follow through with that. Um, after talking to, to numerous different voice actors at different Q and A panels from uh, different conventions, uh, uh, the best way to get my foot in the door is to build a portfolio, which is where my dub sessions are coming from. Now, for those of you who don't know. Um, about that line of voice acting, if you haven't asked questions about it, uh, your portfolio is basically um, all it is is it, it's almost like a regular audition. Like you go in, you present a photo of yourself, uh, background and for basic background information and, and theater experience um, that you would um, that you would give to the director when you are auditioning for a certain part. And the voice uh, voice acting is no different. You come in, um, um, you you mail in. Um, voice clips of different characters you've played, photo of yourself, basic background, and then what they'll do is uh, they'll audition you. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a portfolio. So I'm trying to uh, build a wide range of character profiles and voices that to, to I can send to, to dubbing studios. Uh, most notably, I would like to try and send these uh, first and foremost to, to Funimation, uh, to Viz Media, just to see where it goes. Um, I'm not expecting uh, any much more than a, you know, a forget it kid. So, um, but yeah, um, that's where these dub sessions come from. It's it's building a portfolio, and that, all all it is is it's nothing too fancy because I lack I lack any real technology right now. E even this recording, uh, and I'm doing off my smartphone. So. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a brief introduction of myself, uh, my experience uh, in theater and entertainment, and um, uh, give a brief uh, background of the character, my approach to the character, and I'm just going to display various photos, and I'll put in a little bit of background music to kind of, you know, add a little bit of mood in there too. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and your job as the viewers to be my director. Uh, it's kind of an interesting prospect because, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, fan feedback is important to me. Um, people feedback is important to me. But more than anything, I would also like a lot of people on my page who don't know me, who can grade me solely on my talent and, and not by knowing me personally. Um, so that's your job as the director is to give me input. You can leave me input on my on my Facebook. You can leave me input on my email, my YouTube, um, wh wherever. Wherever you know I'm going to get your input, uh, go on ahead and do it. If the dubbing turns out to be a total flop, and I totally expect to have at least a couple along the way, I will have a redub session, 
in which I will uh, gladly uh, take into account all of your input and try and combine it into a revitalized version of the next session. And those will be done at a later date. Um, I will announce when those dates will be um, on my Facebook page. And, um, and that's how you guys will know. Um, oh gosh, I was, um, I was going somewhere else with this. Um, oh yes, I do take requests. Uh, if you have uh, an original character you want brought to life, or if you want me to do an impression of a character that you like, or if you want me to redo a character, which I have a feeling if you're going to have me redo a character, it's going to be from a bunch of four kids dubs. <laughs> But, um, no, seriously, uh, mail in your requests. Um, I usually, uh, mail in your requests. I'll see what I can about doing them. Um, I'll do some research on the character if I don't know them, and hopefully I'll, I'll meet, that to your, uh, meet that to your specifications. Also, um, if uh, there are certain lines you want me to say for my fan dubs, um, go on ahead and submit them. Go on ahead and... Um, uh, Personally, I would like for you to submit them on my uh, on my personal message uh, inbox on Facebook. But if, if not, uh, just go on ahead and, and post it on on my voice acting page, and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to read all of them. Um, for the sake of the Mega Man X fan dub, try to keep it uh, um, try to keep it family friendly. Uh, I am going to be as I am going to be. Doing some mild cursing, but nothing, nothing vulgar. Uh, but for for yeah, for this session, just try to if you have any requests, keep it family friendly. Um, I'll let you know usually two weeks in advance before I do the next dub session in regarding to the character and what I will allow as far as um, line requests go. Um, as of right now, I do not have any abridged or fan dubs going on. Uh, my friend and I are actually working to put together uh, one. We wanted to do a Ranma one half abridged, but since we don't actually have that anime in stock, we actually had to go out and, and download some of the episodes. We had trouble doing that, and so we had to scratch that idea entirely. So far right now, uh, we're looking into um, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion abridged, we're looking at a um, Outlaw Star Bridge. We're looking at a uh, Trigun Bridge. Uh, we've got a large list right now. Um, it's just going to come down to... In, in fact, if you guys have any um, ideas, again, go on ahead and submit them on my voice acting page. Um, until then, thanks for following my page. Uh, I hope I, uh, hope I am worthy of the page, and I hope you guys like what I have to bring to the table. Once again, I'm Joey Graham. I'm um, signing off.